what I do, give you the sunsets. All right, uh, we are taking out the floorboards to get access to our bilges and the bilge pumps, which we are gonna pull and wipe and then clean our bilge. And so. Yeah, I think you have to keep it. Ah, oh, there you got it. Got it. Oh, I gotta wipe those edges. Those are gross. I think I left the rag in the kitchen. Can you go get it for me? So weird, our floors are standing up. Oh my God. There is some cleaning that needs to be going on. Interesting Ooh. nautical note. Yes. In a boat, these beams are called floors. <gasps> no. And these big pieces of wood. Our souls. Correct. Interesting. Okay, uh, we got some cleaning done, but uh, we just lodged some dirt, and now the lo one of the bilge pumps is clogged. We have a new bilge pump coming Friday, so uh, we're going to have to replace uh, a bilge pump. Okay, so this is our ditch bag, and I'm supposed to be able to carry it upstairs. I'll, let's see how we do. Okay. Ugh. I can get it. Can I get it upstairs? <laughs> I'm gonna hurt my back. Maybe I won't care. You'll have extra adrenaline. <laughs> Too heavy. All right, provisioning. I already rushed the freezer stuff downstairs. We got a couple cases of beer. We got the paper products. We got sundry items, and I swear this is like just the tip of the iceberg. It's gonna be crazy. It's our last night at the marina. We've been running around, doing provisioning tasks. We rented a car for two days and made mad dashes all over the place. Um, and uh, it's hot here, so I'm ready to get back out and drop the hook and be in the wind. It's, uh, it's nice, of course, to have all the pools, but a week is enough. All right, headed out. It's getting hot. The marina. We're ready.
with their helicopter are launching their dinghy. Their dinghy looks to be like 20 feet long. Oh my God. Another day, another dinghy. Another dinghy rising. Chris and Marcus, our guests here. Oh. Hello, Chris. Hello, Marcus. Jordan did not catch this. Marcus caught it, and it's still moving a little. No. No? Rigor mortis has set in. Oh, all right. And uh, Chris said this was a... Sierra. Sierra. It's a kind of a mackerel. Oh. Your little... You're gonna be dinner now. He's <laughs> kind of pretty with the little spots like that. It's Mm. So, they were out by the surf. Yeah. So, what are you going to make with that? I don't know. We'll see. Marcus can tell you. I, I think we... You could make a lot of it. It's basically, it's a mackerel. You can make almost anything with it. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you will be. Hmm. You got it. All right. Chum in. Let's see how long it takes before something eats it. Oh, it's sinking. Oh. Uh, well, that's disappointing. Yeah. Very cool. A lot of clouds coming in. But lovely. Got all our salty clothes because we got hammered coming out through the surf which I didn't record because we were busy getting hammered by the surf. Sunrise. Red sky in morning. I don't know. That's an old. We've all got our cup of coffee. Hold on to the coffee, whatever happens. It's like the reverse of one hand for yourself, one hand for the boat. One hand for the coffee. And forget the boat. All right, we're doing the Sunday hustle from Punta Mita to La Cruz to hit the farmer's market. Yeah. All right, I had my coffee. That's the most important thing. Our guests drink two cups of coffee a day. There's a lot of coffee being made all the time. And that's the coffee report from Mexico.
hubiera pensado que yo me iba a enamorar jamás no quería saber nada más nunca más pero vos apareciste de repente y me hablaste con una voz tan dulce que perdí la razón y mi corazón hay amor no te preocupes que yo siempre te quiero I got my new stand-up cover, which is basically a UV protector, so I can keep it, you know, inflated for a week or two, a couple of weeks, um, and it's 12 feet, and it said it fits a 12-foot stand-up, but not quite on my board. So I had this scrap piece of uh, sombrella I tucked over the tip of my stand-up. And I think I'm going to sew it on right here like a tongue. And then just uh, so it's attached so I don't lose it. The other thing that arrived are our hatches. Ooh, so shiny and pretty. Makes these doors look pretty beat. These are these doors actually are sea tall, but I'm gonna they're I'm gonna sand them down, re sea tall them, but put a coat of gloss on it so it'll look a little more harmonious. And here's the main hatch. Looking beautiful and glossy. I actually think it could have used a couple more coats, but I think it's good. Kind of cloudy day today. Anyway, super excited. We've got like, I don't know, a month and a half. Uh, uh, maybe less for our uh, weather window to French Polynesia. Estimated passage time 20 to 24 days. Maybe less. Cross our fingers. Pray to Neptune. And uh, I'm psyched. I don't know. We're just provisioning up food, spare parts, medical stuff. Uh, antibiotics, you name it. And I keep thinking the boat's completely full and I have no room for anything where to get anything else. And somehow I just push, squish, push, and everything finds a place. Um, so anyway, I'm very excited. It's going to be fun. Oh yeah, the other thing I have to do is make sure I have enough audiobooks. I really like listening to audiobooks on watch at night. Reading can make your eyes really tired and then you don't want to fall asleep on watch. Where there's uh, audiobooks keep your brain engaged and keep you awake. So uh, that's pretty much it. In about... Uh, 10 days we're going to the boatyard uh, to get our bottom done yay but uh, that'll be nice to have a freshly painted bottom for our passage we'll go fast anyway guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe thanks for all your comments see ya no Hubiera pensado que yo me iba a enamorar jamás. No.